Prince Harry's tell-all memoir is shattering sales records this morning. Penguin Random House saying about a million and a half copies sold just in the first day alone. The royal says British tabloids have been relentless in their attacks against him and his wife, Meghan Markle. Harry blames members of his own family, including his stepmother, Camilla, for many of the leaks to the press. And he also accuses the media of trumpeting false accusations against him and his wife. Let's talk more about the book, Spare, and uh, the damage it's doing, if it is at all. I want to bring in Rachel Bowie. She is the co-host of the Royally Obsessed podcast. Thank you for being here this morning. She's also the co-author of the book, Royal Trivia. It's a collection of facts and anecdotes about the royal family. So, Rachel, I'm really curious why write the book. What's the motivation and the timing behind now? Well, first, thank you for having me. And yes, I think for Harry, he really makes it clear right in the prologue of the book that he was at the end of the, ro of the road in terms of getting his family, the monarchy, mainly his dad, uh, King Charles III and Prince William, to hear and understand his perspective on things. The relentless narrative by the tablets full of mistruths, he just couldn't get the accuracy out there. And this is his ability to set the record straight, in, in particular, the historical record. Well, I thought it was interesting in the interviews that he has given. He said, I would like a relationship with my brother and my father and the rest of my family. But then you go and do this. It's hard to see reconciliation. I feel similarly. I think that hearing that when he was in different conversations, that he does still believe in monarchy and he does want reconciliation with some, you know, apologies and conversations about that. I think this book is so explosive, surprisingly so. I don't think anyone anticipated that. It has such a level of detail that I, I think it's hard for a lot of people to imagine the path back. The other thing that stood out to me when he was speaking with Anderson Cooper, um, Anderson asked him why he and Meghan did not drop their royal titles, to which Harry answered, well, you know, why would that matter? Can you have it both ways? Can you have the royal title and slam the royal family? I mean, I think that's a great question. I think, I mean, so far what we're hearing from King Charles III is that the door is still very much open for Harry to attend the coronation, to be a part of things. I think Harry would love to have some version of that hybrid situation, but I think that is a question that people are having. If he says he doesn't anticipate any return, what does that look like when you're still in the line of succession? The palace has a history of not saying anything, um, so not surprising that they're not really responding to what's being said in the book. But what do you believe is the most surprising revelation thing that we have learned through Harry's um, experience? I'd say a lot of the stuff about Camilla, I think, was totally shocking. I think just he really, even though within context, when you read the book, there's a lot more background to it. And he kind of excuses Camilla's part in it and saying it's just a part of how the royal family works. She's just playing the game. I think he really does make her kind of one of the bigger enemies of the book in terms of his downfall and how much she was trading to the tabloid media. Which makes me wonder, right? Charles has spent decades defending Camilla from the outside world, right? Because she replaced Princess Diana and it was ugly and it was messy. But never has he had to defend her against someone so close to him, in fact, his son. So do you, do you anticipate he may get a response out of his dad on this one? If there's anything that was sort of untouchable, it may have been her. I know. I think it's incredibly triggering, most likely. But I do feel like the royal family has so far been absolutely no comment. We saw Kate and William and Charles out and about yesterday, and there was no conversation. I think someone lobbed a question about William's reaction to the memoir. And maybe it was the wind. I'm not sure. But he absolutely did not have a comment. Well, there's a lot of curiosity around it. I guess we'll see if he is, in fact, invited to the coronation uh, later on this year. Rachel Bowie, appreciate your time this morning. Uh, it's fun to talk about. Um, it's also very sad what this family I know, it's and very, very sad. Pull and back the curtain of, of the dysfunction of, that many families deal with uh, so publicly in this case. Appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.